the one. There are many reasons why people decide to pull the trigger for the first time. It may be innate, a strong prey drive, or curiosity, maybe a sense of achievement, discovery. For Imogen, there are lots of forces at work, possibly not all in the same direction. Back slightly so you just get the full picture. She has started work for GMK, importer of Beretta and Sacco, to name a few, so wants to learn. Give you a few shots. I like throwing myself into things and yeah, giving something new a go and I suppose working in the industry it makes sense to actually get to know what I'm working with. But on the flip side, red meat is not normally part of her diet. I think for me, like ethically, I think you've sort of if you're happy to eat meat, it's quite important that you're actually okay with the whole process it isn't just this sterile thing that you pick off a shelf and you know they've had a wild life and actually the meat itself is actually healthier and this is much more ethical than what you pick out of a supermarket to be honest do you think. eat meat at the moment then I'm not i wouldn't really buy it for myself i prefer sort of veggie things but i think when you're with family that do enjoy really nice meat dishes that yeah it's, it's nice in that way and it's presented lovely and there's a lot of care that goes into the meal rather than just your fast food. So the motivation is there. She's also being supported and encouraged by her family, especially her grandmother, who fancies a venison joint for the weekend. However, the most important thing, of course, is getting the job done well. Safety is the first one. People just don't appreciate what they've got in their hand. You, know, you see it quite often with, with people that have been hunting for quite a lot of years as well. They, not um, muzzle aware, and then build them up from there, and then it goes on to the next stage, which we're on now, is technique. And technique gives you accuracy, and this, hopefully, is going to prove it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> so that was the first lot on the target, as we went to before, and then this is the second lot. So like I say, pulled it across slightly. So you see it all, all, already, with shooting with your hand at the front of the rifle, we've got you shooting with the hand at the back, more of a stable, solid rest and you've got this grouping which is perfect, pulled the one and then this is the last, bullets touching, clover leaf, pull one slightly, which is the one I said you pulled. Yeah. Um, come on, technique and skill. I'm quite, I don't even for that. <laughs> <laughs> you can the next group. step is moving on to the Sacco 85 stainless synthetic in 22250 okay. and putting a deer shaped target in front of the student. There's a colour band across here on trying to deer. Darker at the top, lighter at the bottom. Mm. I'll explain exactly. The elbow, the, the front leg here, he's come back here. Nicely. Cloverleaf. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah, yeah. You'll yeah. be pretty tough for that. That's not yeah, even like on the target with. <laughs> what I might do is take a picture. If I don't film this day, I'm going to take a picture and say I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brilliant. That's okay. it. That's, That's the thing is, you don't want to actually you want to take that target now. And you'll show it to Uncle Carl, <laughs> show it to, to Simon Morgan. Yeah, brilliant. Perfect. Good reload. I've always said it, women, ladies, always shoot amazing on a rifle. Because I don't know, they just listen to instruction and they, they concentrate. They just do everything correctly. Whereas us men, we get on the range and we think, oh, we know better than the instructor. We know it all yeah, exactly. Yeah. We don't need to be taught. Exactly. No, 100%. Every time, I guarantee you that. And what about Paul as a teacher? A brilliant. Brilliant. Don't Honestly, no, he's, he's, you should see his dance. You're missing out on this. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Perfection. Clover leaf on a deer. And, and I'm not surprised to be fair because we started off um, basic targets with 1.7, grouping was a couple of inches, and then closer and closer and closer until it's like thumbnail. Um, got the 20 to 50 out. Started off at 50, went out to 100. Um, once the same thing again, exactly the same thing. Grouping started out a bit wider, come in and take my hat off to you. So we're ready to go Go now and um, see if we can try and find uh, the correct animal we want. It's coming to the end of the season, so there's, there's certain ones I want to shoot and certain ones I don't. Any, any old females I'm not going to shoot because they're heavily in young now. Um, I'll shoot a young female if she's, if she's barren or a young male. So that's what we're looking to. Hopefully we can find something. We'll get you in, get you comfortable, we'll select the animal, and then I'll talk you through the shot. And the way you've been shooting, that's going to be, that's the easy bit. It's just days before the end of the Chinese water deer season, and Paul knows what animals he still needs to take 
to ensure good farmer stalker relations. He's got his tail and he's trotting. He's trying to show aggression and dominance. But really, he's a young buck trying to prove something that he can't prove because he's got no tusks. So that one for us. That is actually we absolutely perfect. One, one the very back, that's big buck with big tusks. Walking left, yeah? yeah. Okay, got two more there as well. Oh, three more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, all comfortable on your side and stuff, yeah? Okay, right. You on, David? Yeah. Okay. Okay, take the safety off. Okay, one of you already. Shot. Reload, and back on safe. Perfect. Animal down. You went straight down. <laughs> well That's done. The one thing I was worried about. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. No, straight down, perfect, shot. That's insane. How are you feeling? Yeah, amazing. pretty amazing. What a day. What about the hand? Put your hand out. <laughs> 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 Yeah, good. Browser. Yeah, thanks so, for my day out, guys. Brendan <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Rush. Uh, yeah. You walk in the field, drive in the field, they're away. Yeah. There's been a lot for our novice stalker to take in today, especially now, seeing the result. This is the perfect animal to shoot. OK, so... Young buck. He's actually quite a small animal. Yeah. Um, Small tusks for this time of year, they should be about here somewhere. So it's absolutely perfect. Small in the body, just a, just so basically. It's, yeah, it's, not, it's not weak, it's not poor condition. He's basically just a late fawn, so it hasn't grown to be so like a, a bigger, stronger uh, male. But this is the best eating. Honestly, these one year old male Chinese water deer in the spring, absolutely the best. The best of the best, I think. What do you think, David? Definitely. Yeah. You're not getting any, David. <laughs> 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 I've got to bring it back to you. <laughs> yeah, no, he's in good condition. Um, like I say, just a late fall. Back at the chiller, the deer in the fur now becomes meat. And for many people, that is far easier to process. It's normal, familiar. We see cuts of meat on any trip to the supermarket. We have to ask, will she do it again? As if it tastes good. <laughs> Great answer. Perfect, well done. 